Support for Radio Friends comes from Homestead Senior Care, providing trustworthy, kind-hearted senior home care services in your loved one's home. All caregivers are thoroughly screened, extensively trained, professional, and reliable. Homestead is all about providing the highest quality home care service to fit you and your family's needs. Plus, if you would be interested in becoming a caregiver, they offer great part-time positions. Give them a call at 573-442-4333 or check it out at homeinstead.com. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Thursday, January 24th. Louise Sarver is with us from the Columbia Art League. And she's here because tomorrow is a very big day with the Art League, Yes, it is. We have our annual Let Them Eat Art fundraiser in coordination with our gluttony exhibit that's up right now. Let Them Eat Art and the Gluttony exhibit. Yes. (laughs) It sounds like something goes back to the Roman days. Yeah, (laughs) and it, it might look like that. Yeah, our gluttony exhibit shows about 70 pieces of art from local artists around Columbia, and it all has to deal with the food a food theme or a gluttony theme. Mm -hmm. So we've had local chefs from the area come in, select a piece of art as inspiration for a small dish. And so anyone who buys a ticket to the event can come out and sample all the food that's been inspired by the art, meet the chefs and talk with everyone. So the artwork is done first. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then you find the chef Mm -hmm. and the chef can come in and look at all the artwork and decide which one they want to do? Exactly. What happens if a chef picks, decides he wants to do one that's already been picked by another chef? Can they... Nope, it's one one piece of art per chef. So we put up a little tag in the gallery. Oh, so that, that says this one's taken. Yep, that says this one's taken, exactly. And so anyone who comes in and visits the gallery can see all the chefs that we have lined up for the event and the pieces that they've chosen. And then it's first come, first serve. So if the last chef gets in there, you know, that's the pick that they get. So you really, really will not know what food you're going to have until the day of? Correct. It's all a surprise to us as well. So the chefs kind of imagine it on their own and they bring it in and set it up so when they display it at the event tomorrow that will be the first time that we get to see it too. Will the picture be there with the... Yes. Mm -hmm. They set it right in front of the (laughs) image. Yeah. And uh, and how many years you've been doing this? This will be our sixth year, and it's been really popular in the past. We sell about a hundred tickets to the event, and we expanded it a little bit this year. So if you missed out in the last years, or you're still waiting to get your ticket, we have a few left. So call us, stop in at the gallery. You can come get your tickets and come to the event. Okay, and the event is. Uh, tomorrow, yes, Friday the 25th of January, mm-hmm. from when to when? From 6 to 8 p.m. at the Columbia Art League, right next to the Missouri Theater downtown. Okay, and then if you like the piece of artwork and you like the food so much, can you buy that artwork? Absolutely, yes. Everything in the gallery is for sale, so you're okay. more than welcome to buy that piece and remind you of that delicious food you had. Okay, <laughs> then you have to talk to the chef about getting the food. Yes, exactly. Maybe the <laughs> recipe. Yeah. All right, Louise, thank you so much for coming by. Thank you. Good luck tomorrow night. Thank you very on, much. Uh, eat artwork and what? what the, Let them eat art. Let them eat art and the gluttony... Gluttony exhibit. Got it. Mm-hmm. Okay, Columbia Art League, thank you very much. Thank we'll you. see you soon. Mm-hmm. Okay, so if you want more information, go to the website. And she said they still got a few tickets left. It's uh, ColumbiaArtLeague.org. Can you buy tickets on the website? Yes. Okay, so you can, if there's still tickets available now, you can go to the website and buy tickets. Okay? That's ColumbiaArtLeague.org. Now, Jeff Moran is with us. Good to have you here, Jeff. Oh, thank you. Glad it's been to a be little here. Li- it's been a little while since you've been here. Well, uh, yes, but I want to promote some uh, events coming up for Mobility Worldwide, formerly known as the PET Project. Right. Uh, this was founded uh, in 1994, 25 years ago, in the garage of Mel West. And uh, this year, earlier this year, we'll produce our 75,000th mobility cart. Okay, for people listening now, and maybe if they're not familiar with what you're talking about, explain what Mobility Worldwide is. Uh, Right, we make these three-wheeled carts, which are a substitute for uh, wheelchairs, a lot more all-terrain wheelchairs are uh, hand-operated, but we give them to 
uh, people in uh, developing countries that are leg disabled, and it really changes their lives in uh, dramatic ways. They're able to go back to school, to church, visit friends. Some can start businesses. And- right. Many of these people that you give these mobility carts to, to get around, have had to literally crawl. Yes. Crawl across the, 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 the ground. Right. We've seen people uh, crawling, and, and sometimes in order to come to a car distribution, they will maybe they may crawl for two days to get there. To get there. Yeah. That's, that's, that's got to be an emotional, an emotional situation yes. when you give them the cart. Right. And now because this is the 25th year celebration, we're trying to uh, step up the uh, publicity and the fundraising for the organization. Uh, For example, on February 22nd, uh, we will be having a quarters auction at Fairview United Methodist Church. And uh, I see your puzzled look, so I need to explain what a quarters auction is. Yeah, what is is. a quarters auction? So there's at least uh, 16 vendors who have each contributed two items that are mostly household items. And um, you come in with a roll of quarters, and if you want to bid on a particular item, you put your quarter in the basket or you put your name in the the basket. And then uh, if 50 people or 100 people put quarters in and then a name is pulled out of the basket, and that person then gets to buy that uh, item for a quarter. So you you come in with a roll of quarters. Yes. Uh, a bank roll of quarters. Uh, right. Right. Uh, right. So because, uh, if you want to bid on all the items, there may be an option where you can pay uh, $5 or so to, to just be included in every uh, uh, item that's being auctioned. But uh, so you, you get a basket full of quarters for a particular item, but only one of those is uh, right. winning. Uh, but all of this money then goes to Mobility Worldwide yes. to keep this organization able to make and distribute these cards. Right. It costs about $300 to uh, produce a card, and that's using volunteer labor. They're, they're really sturdily built. And uh, but the cost of not providing that three hundred dollars is that somebody continues to crawl on the right. ground. And so. Right. So if people want, if they want more information, uh, one they can come to the event on February twenty second. Uh, right. That's that's at Fairview United Methodist Church, uh, starting at five thirty, and there'll be a potato bar. Uh, for food available also. Uh, just get a, a baked potato and you put all the toppings on that. Okay, that that's you what want. a potato bar is? Yes. Okay. And and then the uh, or the items, you, you have a chance to uh, preview the items and then... Okay. For more information, is there a website they can go to? Yes, the website is uh, mobility.org slash affiliate slash so there, it is Missouri, mobility, mobilityworldwide.org. Yes. Slash affiliates well, dash Missouri, Columbia. Yes. Or you can just call 886-7877. Is that correct? Right. Or uh, Google will search for uh, gift of mobility. Okay. All right. Jeff, thank and, you so much. Right. And we'll have a lot of other uh, events throughout the year also. All right. And we'll have you back again to tell those. Okay. I appreciate it. Okay. Got it. We're out of time for today. Uh, drop me an email, something you'd like to hear or see. I'd love to hear from you. Pepper P, Missouri.edu.